One of the key parts of Chameleon is how easy it is to style your tools to make them feel native. So let's look at the different things you can do. Now one tip here is to try and make sure that the steps that you create do actually stand out from your underlying interface. Too often I see steps with the same background as the underlying interface or the same style exactly and that makes it really difficult for new users to discern the difference between what you're showing them as a dynamic component with Chameleon versus the underlying interface. So actually, I would encourage you to use your brand guide, but make this tool step out, maybe by with a bright background color or something. Anyway, here's how you actually make these changes. So in this bottom left-hand side, you've got the styling uh, op option, and here you can set your overall default styles for your uh, tools. So in this, you can really easily point and click uh, and choose the colors, either the ones that we see on the page or the ones that you've used recently, uh, and you can start making those changes. Now, once you make those changes, you can then apply those to all of the future steps that you then create or to all of the existing steps uh, in, in across all of your tools. So if, if, you've made a ch if you made a change to your brand guide and you want to change all of them, uh, hit that, but be careful. Now, in addition to this, you can apply custom CSS. That's not that's not available on all plans, but let us know if you're interested. Uh, and that you can apply to uh, a whole tool or a step or a template. Uh, and then you can actually configure a lot of details, such as line spacing or uh, where you know where certain elements are placed or uh, default images in the step, etc. So you can add custom CSS uh, for that here. Now, once you've added your overall account styling, you can, of course, go back uh, to your tool. Uh, and in this, you can further edit uh, any of the styling in this. So clicking on this, um, you, can make, you can change this up um, even more. Um, now, in addition to that, um, what you can also do is use Markdown, uh, which is a kind of a simple text formatting language uh, inside of this. So let's just make this a little brighter. Um, and then what you can do is use a, com a, a range of things. For example, you can edit, add a header. So this is uh, the way to add a header. So you've got a much larger uh, font size. Um, and you can add uh, different hash types um, or hash numbers depending on how big you want the header to be. Um, so for example, this is how you can add headers. Um, you can also add, uh, you can bold and italicize or underline steps uh, or uh, words. So for example, um, like this, you can kind of see that um, being bolded. Um, now let's make this a little more obvious to see. So you can see that. So you can use that for bold. You can also use bullet lists. Um, you can also use links. Um, so for example, um, you can do something like this. And that way, oh, just right. that way you've added some help. And then uh, when you turn preview on, actually you can click into this and, and open, that opens in a new tab. Um, and so you can add a lot of styling in this and there's a guide that we have in the help center um, around markdown formatting. So that's just some of the ways in which you can uh, style your steps.